Call Me Buster, and welcome back to Open RCT 2. Today we're going to do another scenario. I think you guys enjoyed uh, the Forest Frontiers one pretty well, but it was admittedly quite short. So let's go ahead and start a new one. Today we're going to be doing Crazy Castle. Now, Crazy Castle, as the opening scenario to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, is in stark contrast to Forest Frontiers. Forest Frontiers lasts one year and is pretty easy. Crazy Castle lasts four years and is actually quite hard. So, yeah, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a challenge. Um, the first thing I want to do when opening this map is I want to grab uh, this, quickly delete this path so no one can get in there. Now here's a little pro tip for this one. If you don't care about this castle, which I really don't want the castle, you can just delete it. Now of course you know, if you delete like this stuff, it'll cost you money, the trees and all that, but this castle stuff counts as scenery. So if you do this, watch, watch my money count right now. And now suddenly I have an extra thousand bucks to work with. So yeah, that's very nice. Now next thing I need to do is move all of these uh, guests out of the park. Looks like there's only one. Nope, there's another one. I knew there would be a second one. Leaving park. Why are there people already here? That's one thing I never understood about this scenario. Anyway, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, this path that goes up like so. Delete that. Delete that. In fact, I might just delete the whole thing. Maybe. We'll see. So, we'll do like that. And now we just spam click. This also gets us money, which is very nice. Uh, so continue deleting that. So this is a... Oh, I, I missed a part of the castle, too. This is a nice way to gain some money at the start of this scenario, which, as I said, this is um, indeed quite a tough scenario. So... It, it, it will do you good to get all this extra cash. Alright, so, oops, I hit the DPI button on my mouse and now everything is wonky. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up too much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these little offshoot paths as well. In fact, I think I might do a little time lapse of the rest of this because this takes a little while and that's probably not interesting for you guys to watch. So, I'll be right back. This doesn't seem to work, by the way. Alright, that seems to just about be all that I need to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this path here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some benches and I can't place them there. I knew that. It's the trash cans that you can place on slopes. So let's do that. I'll place some benches all along here. Now a lot of these are going to get destroyed just by the nature of me building things, but that's fine. So for now I'm going to keep this part cut off. Um, I'm going to not build some staff just yet. First I want to get a ride that will start bringing us in some cash. So let's build a pirate ship here, just a nice flat ride. Get a good camera angle here. Now, as usual, you can jack up the price of these things. People will still ride them, even if you do that, so it's fine. Um, and I don't feel the need to uh, rename it right now. <laughs> Usually that's my strong suit, I suppose, but not today. Not today. How do I want to do this line? I'm not sure how I want to do the line. Let's try like this, maybe. That works. Works for me. All right, so let's open that bad boy. And in fact, let's let's give it a silly pirate name like uh, Yarmy mateys. It's one of my favorite pirate ship names to give to pirate ships in this game. The other one is uh, Ye Ye Be Scurvy Dogs. That's it. 
All right, so handyman and mechanic. And you are going to work this ride specifically. Go on over. He'll find his way in there eventually, but I'll just make sure he stays there. So another thing that's very important on this particular scenario is you want to hire a security guard to watch um, all of your benches and stuff because the benches and the, the, the trash cans will get destroyed um, by vandals. And I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I guess when the security guard is near, it will uh, prevent stuff from getting vandalized, which is obviously great. It means I don't have to pay as much attention to it, um, and that's good, obviously. So let's start building a roller coaster here. What I like to do is build a uh, wooden wild mouse, because these are pretty cheap, and they can also be built um, in a small amount of space. So now that we have the pirate ship giving us some money here, let's build like here. Make the station platform nice and long. Oh yeah, I forgot that Open RCT 2 lets you build insanely long station platforms compared to the base game. Um, as with Forced Frontiers, it's not necessarily the best idea to build food stalls right away because the guests tend to come in not feeling very hungry or thirsty. As you can see, they start with pretty good happiness and energy and then over time they get uh, more of that. So you can uh, refrain from building those until a little bit later. So, one thing that I always get messed up with these wooden wild mouse coasters is I don't want to build too high because uh, then you're going to end up giving it a really high intensity rating. Now is that... yeah, that is good. Okay. Pow, 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 pow. Pow. I like doing these sort of little, it drops a little bit and then it goes up to make it lose some speed. Um, and that's just a good way to make sure the intensity doesn't get too terribly bad on these. Because it can get very intense very quickly. Um, let's actually make this one go up by a couple. It's going to go pretty fast at this point. It started at 40 and now we're at 15 already. So let's do that. Um, let's go down and then go up big. I'm not sure it'll actually make that. It probably should since it starts at 40, but I'm not sure. I'm going to make it go down one more and then do that. Because I want it to uh, spin around like this real quick. Now I'll have it go up, do another lift hill. Bring it back up to 40 because why not? So this way it'll lose its speed. Now we'll go down like that. And back up. That should be fine. Just in case, I'll put a lift hill right there. Um, I don't usually build wild mice with these huge rolling hills. <laughs> Let's see how this works out, hey? Oh, that's right. I can go straight from straight down to just straight. Well, that's fine, uh, that's fine by me. Alright, so let's go up one, and let's also go slightly up a little bit, um, so that it loses some speed coming around this bend right here. In fact, I'll make it one of these, and then do like that. So, one important thing to note is that when it goes around a turn, any roller coaster, it tends to lose a lot of speed, which, you know, that's if you've ever played a racing game, you know that, probably. Um, that you lose speed going around the bends. So, alright, from here I'll go just slanted down a little bit. And like that. So that should make it not too terribly fast. Um, I don't think I can really afford to do another one. So from here, is there anything else special? No, not really. Alright, so from here I'll just have it go. Oh, now I have a spinning wild mouse. That's fine, I don't need that. Alright, complete it. Now let's see just how intense this thing is. <laughs> of course, we have to uh, set it up first. Up that lift chain speed. Can I change anything about this? No, just the mouse cars. Oh! What? 
That's a feature I didn't know about. You can change the color by doing this. Well, I like the brown ones. I never knew you could do that. Maybe that's an open RCT2 thing. I don't know. Anyway, I know I can jack up the price of this. But first, let's actually test it, shall we? So, up it goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of supports so it's a little easier to see. It's going to be harder to tell where the track goes, but I specifically made it so that it would go around in a pretty uh, noticeable pattern, I guess. Hang on. Uh, whoops, that's not what I want. I want to see how fast it's going. Okay. So yeah, it totally didn't make that lift hill, which is fine. That's what I expected. Ooh, yeah, didn't make that either, so that was a good call. Up we go. Now it's going to lose a bit of speed around here. And down we go. And up and down. Beautiful. Alright. So now it's going to move to the end of the platform. And we should get some test results. Intensity rating is very high. Ooh. So I'm going to look at the graph actually and look at the lateral G's. So at around 45 seconds. Um, the lateral G's I guess are coming from this. Oh no. It's coming from this one at the end. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to close it do this. Um, I believe just doing this should actually lower the intensity by a bunch. Let's try it. And I'll go ahead and speed it up for you guys since I can. Ooh, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And off we go. Okay. So let's see what it reports this time. Well, we did lower it. It was at 8 point something before. So I'm okay with that. Um, very high is not the greatest for this scenario, I don't think, but it works. It works. So there's that. Um, let's see. Actually, let me delete that because what I want to do is make a huge old Q line as we do. Yes, I know. It's stop it. I know. I know. Boom! 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 So these sorts of roller coasters are always just extremely popular, as many of you probably know. Oh, jeez, what happened there? I can't see for the trees. See through scenery. Okay. Uh, like that, like that, like that, like that, 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 that. Whoops, not like that. Stop, stop. Eh. Stop here and here. Okay, so then I can do that. Now I can stop seeing through scenery. And then I'll go ahead and put this here. And that way, I can uh, do my thing where I block off the exit just to help the pathfinding make stuff not be stupid. Now, there is a bit of a nausea rating on this thing, so I'll go ahead and do that. Mr. Mechanic, you can start working this right as well. Okay, so this thing looks good to go. Let's open it up. And uh, let's give it a name, shall we? Why not? I'm going to give it a name. Um, well, let's see. It's It's got the mouse theme. It goes up and down a bunch of rolling hills. I don't know. Oh, that, that actually reminds me. So, this park, its name is Crazy Castle, right? But, but where's the castle? I don't know. But we sure are up on a hill. Hmm. What lives in a castle? A king? Aha! Let's rename this park to King of the Hill. Eh. Eh. It works better when I don't make typos the first time. I would make a, a, a reference to the actual TV show King of the Hill, but I don't watch it very much, and I don't know many of the lines from it. Alright. Off we go. So, did I give that handyman a patrol area? No, I didn't. That means he's going to be going inside of the rides, and I don't want him to do that. Um, you, stop being in the queue line. Come over here. Alright, the Wooden Wild Mouse. Eh, I'll just give it some generic name. Cheese Chasers. There we go. Cheese Chasers. Very good. Of course, people will still pay it. Um, 
somebody is saying it's really good value, that means I can still jack up the price. Alright, people are saying it's too intense. This guy says it's good value. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. That's about as far as I want to bring it. Alright, I'll leave it at four bucks for now. I think that'll be fine. And now it may be time to begin building some of this stuff. So let's put that right there. Jack up the price, of course, because a dollar twenty for drinks is just that's that's cute. That's cute. This game is a product if it's time. <laughs> um, all right, and this it really doesn't matter which way it faces, but I'll put it that way. Same price throughout park. I'm gonna charge you a dollar for a map. Three dollars for an umbrella. Uh, let's make this like a light brown. Salmon pink. That's that's a color, all right. Light brown. That's the color of a castle. Even though there's no castle here, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, and then I'll build something to eat. I don't have a burger bar. I wanted a burger bar. Oh well. I'll put a fry stall right there. That'll cost two bucks. Because, you know, that theme park food is always overpriced. Alright, and a restroom because... Eh, I guess people have to go to the bathroom. But you're going to charge ten cents for it. No. Just kidding. You can totally do that. And they will totally pay for it. <laughs> but it's just like... I, I never want to do that. Because it feels so wrong <laughs> to charge people to go to the bathroom. Anyway, so this is working out pretty well. We're getting lots of money from our new roller coaster, and we're getting some money from this. And hopefully, soon, we'll get some money from these stalls as well, which reminds me. The big money makers are the balloons and souvenirs. Let's go with a light brown theme for things during this scenario. Let's see. T-shirt or souvenir? Yeah, t-shirts. Stick those in right there. Make them light brown. So we'll have a bunch of light brown dudes coming through. Alright. Open. Now, are people going to pay that much for a t-shirt? They should, I guess. I don't know. I don't see any thoughts coming in. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start building something new here. So... One issue is that there's this big slanted part, which is hard to build anything on. But I did happen to leave myself a bit of room back here, so let's... Uh, do that. Entrance, exit. I can build a twist. I like that camera angle best. Um, yeah, let's do like so. Okay, and then I can... Put the exit wrapping around there. Beautiful use of space. Alright. Now the twist. I will also jack up the price a little bit. Not too much because these things lose their value very quickly. Um, let's go ahead and open that. And uh, twist. I oh don't know. Pretzel. That, that's wrong. Pretzel. Pretzel. There we go. Alright. And I'll go ahead and close off that exit as well. And I'll grab this mechanic and tell him... Oh, he can already go. Okay, cool. That means he can go in the queue line, though, which is not fun, but it's fine. He doesn't have a huge patrol area. And the AI should be able to figure this out pretty well. Um, decently enough, at least, hopefully. Um, nobody seems to be going on pretzel. Is that because I haven't tested it yet? No, they just want to go on something worth doing. But yeah, test it. Make it go. Oh, there were people on there. Oh, look, and they love it anyway, even though they didn't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Pretzel was great. Thanks. I'm glad. Like, oh yeah. I didn't even get to write it, but I still love it. <laughs> oh, this game sometimes. Alright. Um, is this a good spot for this? I don't think so. Do I have room anywhere else? Not really. Uh, let me not do this yet. First, let's uh, delete some of this up to like maybe here. I want to uh, actually expand. Stop that. Expand this like so. 
And then the next thing I'll do is I'm going to hire a handyman, put him right here. It's very important that you get your handyman set up, especially um, the security guards as well on this map, because um, this is going to be the most highly trodden path, so to speak. I guess that's not a so to speak sort of thing, that's literal, like, it's literally going to be the most trodden path. So yeah, be careful about that. The more peeps that go by um, a trash can or a, a bench or whatever, the more likely it is that it'll get broken. Let's put some uh, Q-Line TVs in here. I'm not sure, actually. Um, I know that on this channel I kind of have made it into my thing that I always put the Q-Line TVs everywhere even though it wastes a lot of money. I'm not sure, though, if these are actually just for decoration or if they actually have an effect on how long the peeps stay in the queue line. I feel like they should. Like, because occasionally you will see if they've been waiting for a really long time, they'll say, I've been queuing for ages, and then they'll leave. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. Anyway, let's go ahead and build this inverted swinging ship. How much money do I have? I'm doing pretty well right now. Eh. Mouse went onto the second monitor. This is always a fun thing to do. Eh. No, please. Just supports. There we go. It's always fun to wrap the queue line around these sorts of things. I like doing that. It's a fun little trick. I mean, it's not really a trick. I guess it sort of makes efficient use of space. And I suppose it looks kind of cool. Alright, so first things first. Q-Line TVs? No, this. Q-Line TVs will come later, but more importantly, I want to hire a new mechanic. Set him up right here. And I think this handyman probably... Uh, well, I'll put him there. He'll be able to go a bit further down the queue line than I would like, but whatever. It's fine. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and jack up the price. Jacking up the price on every single thing that you build works, and people will still uh, ride it and stuff. And since everything in your park is jacked up just a little bit, it makes a huge difference. Um, of course, you do have to uh, pay attention to your guest thoughts occasionally. What do I want to name this? Um, Ultra Metal Ship. No. Uh, Sparky Metal Shipwreck. Sparky Metal Shipwreck! That's the name of this ride. It's the most heavy metal since it plays... Oh, this one's playing techno style. I could have sworn these things used to play rock style. Oh well. Maybe they changed that in OpenRCT2. Or maybe they don't change as much as I say they do, and I just don't remember much about this game. It's entirely possible that that is also a thing. Alright. Now at this point, I think I want to get some people into the park. So let's start a advertising campaign. 700 bucks is fine. Let's get some more peeps in here. Um because I see the paths are pretty empty. That is because a lot of people are in the queue lines, especially for this. This thing, they're still saying it is good value. I'm going to jack up the price again. I'm, I'm curious to see if they will... Yeah, I see people still going in the queue line. As long as they're not saying it's good value, um, it's, it's not a good idea to continue jacking up the price. But yeah, five bucks tends to be the cap for uh, roller coasters when they're really popular. Let's see, it says popularity here somewhere, right? 68%? That's actually not great. <laughs> uh, compared to this, the popularity 100. And what about this? 88%. Why is this so unpopular? Despite getting 576 customers per hour. And now it's down to 50. What? Why is the satisfaction so low? Is that because it has a short ride time or something? How long is the ride? Uh, ride length? No. One minute and one second. Compared to this, which is 
not one minute. Oh, it's gonna be here. It doesn't. It doesn't even say. Uh, well, I don't know. It, it's making us money. That's all that really, really matters, right? All right. Well, I think this is a good place to cut it off. I'm gonna continue recording. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Come back for the, the next riveting episode of Crazy Castle. But until next time, goodbye everyone.